there's a complexity to learning how to use devices that is off-putting for a lot of people. Their, their vision might be more and more impaired, typically is for us as we age. Their ability to, to hear and many devices um, leave people behind because of this. Well, one time I did buy one. I did buy one and I cried all the way home from the store because I had too many things to do and I didn't have time to pay attention to it at the time. And so I took it back the next day <laughs> because I just wouldn't have, I would either have to cancel everything or had studied the computer. Because I know that if I got one, I would be glued for a long time. Well, unfortunately, my wife is a type of a person, like I said, slightly exaggerated, but anything that was invented after 1950, it's, it's a big deal to her, yeah. The new technology is, uh, is just beyond her. But as a matter of fact, the technology today is getting beyond me because I don't understand all of these new gadgets these kids have, like that one you have. Uh, and I don't want to spend the money for them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know I could go get myself a, a laptop, but I prefer a desktop for some reason. A lot of people have the basic cell phone, so even that technology can be challenging for them at times. I think that even, um, that it could be wonderful for anybody in this situation to be connected with their family. A lot of residents, I feel like, don't get to spend enough time with their family or not interact with them, speak with them on the phone, and this would give something direct at their fingertips that they can really do. Um, I also think for some of our residents with uh, memory problems that the, rep the repetitiveness of using certain programs and stuff would also be very stimulating for them and um, probably help them in a lot of ways as well. The, the main thing is, I think, when I look at it, is that the, the people generally my age or younger, a little older and older, would have something that, do no fault of their own because of their age, they have something to reach at that, that they can f find information or get, get knowledge about things they need right there at hand. See, right now, my wife has, has fallen and she's in the hospital. I want to go see her, and I'm trapped here, kind of like. And I would like to have something where I could communicate with her back and forth. Well, that would be marvelous. I can contact all my old friends. <laughs> I've lost all my old friends since I haven't, you know. I, we all live scattered. My very best friends, one of us lives in Redondo Beach and the other one in Mission Viejo. And, uh, you know, we can't call each other too often. And uh, I kind of miss our little notes to each other. There could be notes. There could even be a place where you touch your button and you get to talk live and in real time to You're the kidding. person. And they see you and you see really? them. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> you didn't, that's a beautiful thing. That you could talk? and see each other. I'll be damned. I mean, pardon my English. <laughs> I mean, touchscreen makes everything so simple. I've been using touchscreen since the iPhone came out and I would never use anything else. Um, I actually know my grandma has the touchscreen computer, the HP PC computer or whatever, but it's still a little bit complicated for her. There's so much going on. She doesn't really know which way to go. We'll write out simple list of instructions for her, um, but they don't necessarily, she can't follow them. So she really needs something that brings back just to a very simple way of doing things because she is, she does know the computer a bit and does like to be connected to the family, um, news, all of those types of things, uh, but she definitely needs a simpler way of life. I think that's what bothers a lot of people too, the older people, is that they can't, well, what, where am I supposed to look? <laughs> I think that's part of it. I told her an analogy, what, a couple of weeks ago. I hope they make it like checkers instead of like chess. Technology, as it, it changes and 
and develops is seems to be more about adding more features, more functionality, and that can uh, be overwhelming for people. When we get older, it's harder to make friends with uh, the new features. People are interested in connecting with other people, in um, maybe staying abreast of what's happening in the world. Uh, as much as I don't do much on the computer, and television has been a bummer, <laughs> it really has. I've been doing a lot of reading, I read the paper, <laughs> which I've never really read it from cover to cover. I get the paper, read what I think is interesting to me. But now I read it all. And everything says, and you can get more information on <laughs> whatever. And I, darling, I want to know more about that. So that is, a, uh, that would be wonderful to be able to do that. I think that, now that I think about it, that would be very important to be, you know, to pick it up, read the paper that says go, go to this and <laughs> find out more. I'm very much interested in a political race. So I go ahead and I get a lot of uh, my information uh, on the internet about what other countries think of our candidates and things like that. Uh, I get all of my news. The, the news that I get that I believe in are what I get from the internet. The socialization's uh, limitless with something like this because you're connecting to the whole world. You're connecting to your family, new friends, um, connecting to the world through news, through social networking. If that becomes something, you know, movies, music, you can connect to everything through this. It's the potential, and if it's simple and easy to do, anybody can do it. You can have a two-year-old doing it, and you can have someone in their 80s or 90s doing it as well. You know, you don't realize how much I missed it of what I did know. Because I know a lot of people were sending me letters, you know, jokes and things, yes. which we exchanged. I miss that. Well, I would put it to good use, I would. I think it'd be a marvelous thing. In the condition I'm in, but better than that would be that I could get back with my family again. I would love to do that. That's number one.